Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. I have been getting a lots of comment on my Office 2024 and Office 365 videos which I have created on my channel about the subscription fee. And I think it's a valid concern because we all love Microsoft, but the cost is going very high nowadays. But think about that if you are a business owner with the 10 employees, each needing a Microsoft Office 365 and minimum you need is a business standard, right? You can see here at that cost to 770 per month for per user. And when you calculate this by 12 months, it comes as somewhere at 9,024 rupees per year, right? For one user. And if you calculate that by 10, 10 employees, that will be whopping around 92,400 annually just for office package and you know if you are a business there are lots of other expenses also but don't worry about that microsoft isn't only the player in the market there are fantastic alternative out there that can do everything you need without paying anything today we are going to dive into the wps office a free suite that fully compatible with the microsoft office that's just to test it what i will do is will i will create a document on microsoft office and then open and edit in the WPS office and vice versa. Let's dive into it and see how WPS office stand up to take the task. Okay, so let's go to our browser and uh, open WPS office. And you can see this is uh, the website of the WPS office and it's asking about the download and it's a free downloadable thing. And it says that all in one office suite for everyone, free, compatible and shareable. Okay, fine. So this is certified by AWS trusted partner and they have got the G2 award. And you can see that this has been trusted by um, their Reynolds company, AWS, Google Play, CNET and then Trust pilot. This is one. It says that powerful PDF editor, and then uh, the lots of they support the AI tool as well. When you come down, you can see here. So they have got this recognition, excellent award from lots of companies. You can see Philips, IBM. When you click on the W. PS about, see this was uh, founded in uh, 1988. This is not a new company, right? This was foundation was somewhere, uh, I mean, approximately, I would say, near to Microsoft Office itself, right? And this is support all the 46 language, active 600 million active users, and this is distributed in 220 plus companies. And they have got received lots of awards here. And you can see this, uh, these are the customers which you see on the screen. They are using this uh, WPS Office, right? So there are a lot of, a lot of companies here who is using so like, so why don't we, since it's freely available, why don't we utilize, go ahead and utilize this WPS Office and see how it's going to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and download it. Okay, it's downloaded just the 5.6 MB. Click on the open and it's going to install the office on the system. Agreement, install now. Okay, so you can see here Microsoft, uh, sorry, you can see here WPS Office has been installed. And now at the end of the installation, it says that do you want to install 360 total security? Um, Something I am not agree with that. So I'll just select the, uncheck that box and select. Select that as start later. Okay, that's done. So now Office is installed. You can see this WPS Office. So if we open it, it will open the interface like this. So there will be lots of uh, initial messages that you need to ignore it. So let's say you can see you have a word, slide, sheet, PDF, right? And uh, there are other components also. You can edit the PDF, PDF conversion, OCR and all. But that's not a agenda for today's video here. We will focus on this Word, Excel and PowerPoint and presentation because that's the one which is we are going to see today. Okay, so the one way to you open this is you can just open the click here and open as a blank document. So it will open the blank document from here. The other one is you just close it and how you open the Microsoft Office. We'll just select the word here and you can see this is the new document has come. So click on the W new document and it will directly open the word. And I said that if you want to go with this menu, you can go with this as well. So click on the sheet and click on the blank sheet. So it will open the blank sheet as well. So now as so you can see here, um, look at this Excel menu. Don't you think it's a very similar to Office 365? Let me open this Office 365. Let me open the web version of it. Sign in. Let me log into my account here. And let's open the Excel here. Let's open the blank one. And let me open this uh, Word document as well. Let me open the blank document for the Word and Excel, both both the things. So if I compare this, uh, let's say compare this uh, Word, MS Word, um, the layout here and then the layout of this WPS office. It look very similar, right? We are in the home page. So you can see home page, you have a format painter paste and then you have the option to select this uh, fonts from here and you can see fonts. I can see all my fonts. I can see all the fonts here and uh, this one book 
Pac-Man old style. That's my favorite one. So I can see all the, I mean, you can see all of these menus here and then you can see the insert. Insert also we have a table picture skin shot. When you go back to um, this Word Microsoft Office 365 also, you can see this tables, picture, drawing, links. There's this though. This is look very. Let me let me make it side by side. Then it would be easier for to explore it. We can see what difference you see here, right? Page breakout, right? You can see the page breakout, blank page, new pages, pictures, everything. Everything is there. Page layout. Let's click on the page layout here. There's the here in the Microsoft Office 365 is layout. Here it's a page layout. The page layout you can see here. Margin we have, top, length, orientation, everything. All the, the menu is only here and there. But otherwise everything is there. I don't see any difference. References, references, right? Table of content. So review, let me go to review. Left hand side is the Microsoft Office 365 and right side is the WPS Office. You can see here, editor, spelling check, right? Conversation, so you can talk also. View, uh, let's click on the view, right? Separate pages, full pages, reading pages. So it's look very similar to me. Let's look into, look into this Excel. So let's go back to Excel here and click on the home and go to home on this WPS also you can see paste format painter here and this copy paste then I have fonts then all this uh, selections here right you can see all the selection here then orientation right so it's look very 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 similar between uh, this both of this uh, Microsoft Office and WPS Office right um share let's say paste the out formula so you have a formula they have given you the wps office they have given you a formula tab there you have a lots of function like fx and everything is there um data raw okay fine so i think everything is there so let's do one thing um i have a one document here or let's quickly do one thing so this is my document right on my office 365 you can see this is sample doc let's close this blank one and close this excel also and then i should have a sample excel as well you can see they have a two document here the one is a sample excel and the other and the word document is sample word document so let's so so these are the two documents here let's go ahead and download it and try to open in open in into the WPS office. That's the concern, right? So if any customer sent you this award document, whether you will be open, whether you will be open it on the WPS office or not. Okay. So let's click on the file and uh, create a copy, download a copy, download a copy. So it's going to download the copy on your system. Here you can see download. So this is downloaded DOCX document and then a sample Excel file and uh, download a copy. So you can see both these copies are downloaded on my local system, right? You can see, but you can see the extension here. Even if there is no Excel Excel or Word install it, uh, install it on it, you cannot see this, uh, um, this logos here, right? So let's open this Word first. So when you open the Word first, it's, it's open the Word document here. Okay, so you can see this, uh, this is working well and good, right? And then, then Excel also, let's open the Excel file. Uh, where is our Excel file? Here is it, it is, and open this Excel. And Excel also, you can see all this uh, data are available. And we can open and view this Excel into the WPS office. Let's say add here something here. Let's say um, copy this, paste it here. Instead of 2029, let's add 2020. Let's put the central here, let's put the north here. Okay, add the amount here. So you can see here, we are able to add this uh, document, uh, add this uh, one here. Here it's asking about the save so he said that you save successfully on your document and then um you know let's see whether it's supported a few for basic formula or not so i'm not in i'm not an excel expert but let's try to add this one let's say if i add this formula subtotal you can see this subtotal is working fine working good let's see if we find this replace option here into the replace and uh, i think there is some error that you need to fix it. So now let's add something here, add something here, right? And just save this one, oops, just save this file. So this is going to save in the original file. If you want to click the save as, so when you click on the save as, you can see the default extension type it support is DOCX, right? And there are the other option also, but that's the beautiful things, right? That is what you want, the default saving is do6 when you send this file to someone else he will be able to open it in his microsoft word document so let's say let's see what is the excel click on the file and click on the save and you can see this is by default it's saving into the excel x format so this is one this this is what the microsoft office will support and now there is a one option I was looking into with this, you can see if you want to use the dark mode, just click here and it will select the dark mode. You can see the eye protection mode. It will select the eye protection mode. Yeah, you can see 
it look cooler when you put this eye protection mode so there's lots of features you can say okay so now let's open that both the documents in the microsoft online so let's click on the open so i'm using microsoft online because i have not installed the office on my the system so click on the open and then uh, open from this device sample word say that we are uploading into this my files okay so this is pop-up block don't block the pop-up here okay so let's see if we have a sample document sample document one let's open that and you can see we have added this line right add something here and it's beautifully opened in the word also so we have added some thing in the excel and we have already exported it let's open this this into the microsoft as well so click on the open and then open from this device sample excel it said we are uploading okay go ahead and upload buddy and once you upload you can see this is beautifully added into the excel right? so there is no problem there is no compatibility issues between the office microsoft office and wps office so that's it for today's video we have already covered this uh, wps and microsoft office compatibility we learn about the features right so if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video thanks for watching video see you in the next one